Hey everybody, Anne here, and yep, I'm back from the hospital, transmission still out on the van, but that's okay, we're going to work that out. Um, eventually I'll, you know, talk about what landed me in the hospital, but for now, I just wanted to kind of share with you what has been going on since I returned to the land that Andy's Tennessee Life and Homestead owns. There he is with my dog. While I was in the hospital, he trained my dog to not be such a spaz, so thank you so much, Andy. I've also been doing my laundry by hand and hanging it up outside in the woods and oh my goodness when it was done it just smelled so so good. And also yeah the girl she's not rolling yet but she still makes an awful nice home so we're going to sort out the transmission situation hopefully within the next week or so. But mainly what I wanted to talk about this video is my worm bin and there's been some developments. So yeah, let's uh, let's take a look at my worm bin. So I've been in the hospital and uh, Andy put my worm bin in the shade so that they wouldn't bake over in my van. And let's see what's going on in here. <laughs> oh, there's a worm going for a swim. And check this out, I have mushrooms growing everywhere. Oh my goodness. Well, the fact that there is a worm that's alive down in there oh, is actually a good sign. So I'm gonna fish this little puppy out. Come on, let's get ya. <laughs> Here to go, oh there it is. Come on sweetheart, I'm gonna help you. Oh, there we go. You're still good and healthy. Oh, I'm so glad you didn't die. So, I don't know. I've never seen mushrooms growing. <laughs> growing in a, in a worm bin. But you know what? I think they kind of look a little bit cool. So, I'm going to do so. I'm going to re leave them in there. They seem to be, yeah, they're not just growing on the cardboard. It's uh, pretty damp in here, so yeah, I don't know what kind of mushrooms these are. Let's see if I can get a picture. It's hard to get it in focus. Well, I'll do some research to find out what exactly they are. This is what they look like when they first start out. I can't get it to focus. So. No big deal. Let me just see now if I have actual worms in here. I'm going to take this out. Let me take all this out too. Well, it looks like we did have some worms. They are going back down below. I'm looking for cocoons. Look at that. Look at that mushroom just growing on the edge of that. That's hilarious. Oh my god. A few other little... <laughs> you know what's funny? That one almost looks like a little... The beginning of a little... Morel mushroom. But... I don't think that's what it is. Alrighty. Well, let me just kind of poke around a little bit here and I'll come back. Oh yeah. There's plenty of worms left. Um, none of them even look, I don't know, this one looks a little pale there at the bottom, so I'm not sure what that's all about, but it's moving around just fine, which just at this, this tail end here, looks a little pale, I'm not really sure what's going on with that, oh, all of them disappeared. That there's plenty of worms left in here. What'll be a real treat is if there's still. Ah, there is one of the night crawlers. Okay, good deal. Yeah, there's still worms in here. Um, I'm not seeing any cocoons yet. Of course, I'm not really looking all that hard. Well, if I find a cocoon, I'll come back. But otherwise, yep, the worms are still alive. They're in there. They're just escaping. See, there's a couple more. So, yay, they survived. I am so happy. 
I have found what I believe is a cocoon. Let's see if I can get this. Indeed, it absolutely is a cocoon. Hold on a second. Okay. Come on. See that? See that right? Right there? That, my friends, is a cocoon. The little the little yellow thingy right there. We've got breeding going on. We have breeding folks. <sighs> I'm so happy. <laughs> oh yay. Okay, there's another cocoon. I am really, really happy. They are finally laying eggs. Now I don't know if it's the night callers or if it's the red wigglers. All I know is that they are finally laying cocoons. So this is gonna be a thriving warm bin. It is really satisfying when you can get something to work the way it's supposed to. Okay, just to the right, right there, there is another cocoon. It's a little darker in color. So I'm wondering if this one's ready to, to hatch pretty soon. So this bin is literally just filled with them. I've been looking around. I'm not gonna show you each and every cocoon now that you know what they look like. But this is officially a thriving worm bin. Official. I'm a worm farmer. <laughs> Since this bin is still so moist, I'm gonna go ahead and just put some cornmeal the Jiffy Cornmeal Mix. I think it'll be okay. I put it in before and they seem to like it. So we're just gonna sprinkle a good bit of this in because um, they haven't been fed in a week. Of course, they still have all this bedding to feast off of. But we're just gonna put a good bit in. It'll help dry it out. Um, I noticed a few little pests, a few little mites and flies and their larvae. <laughs> larvae, larvae, whatever. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna keep feeding them this. No more moist food until the pest problem is taken care of. Alrighty, that's all I got for you guys today. One last thing I did wanna mention is how supportive and helpful and warm and insightful and generous and soothing CG and Andy have been. I'll leave links to their channels below. Please check out their channel. I cannot thank either one of them enough. Love you guys. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.